I want to ask you, do you have any emotional experiences that have long been ready for release, but are still there? Does anybody have any they want to share? You can. Maybe you got fired. Maybe you got dumped in a relationship. Maybe you got divorced. Maybe those experiences have left an imprint on you that it acts as a shadow that impedes your, the joy that you are offered every day. Today, I will explain what is possible to help you find a new level of freedom. I will explain how efforts to help veterans have produced a scenario that can help many more people. For your continued study and reference, I call your attention to the chat where I have a uh, place in links for me and my contact details and links for three books that I have uh, written on the uh, back heart chakra cleaning subject and uh, a link to a demo and also a link to a Zoom that I scheduled for June 6th in case any of you have any questions you can come on that Zoom that time, and I'll answer anything that I can for you. There, uh, the back heart chakra cleaning sounds simple, and it is simple. However, a lot of people complicate it because they don't know what to associate it with, what to compare it to. They just know that they're hearing about it and it sounds neat and it sounds helpful and it sounds like it would really help people. But they're not sure if they're interested because it's foreign. So anyhow, I wrote the first, first book for veterans. It's called Empty the Attic of Emotionality. It's about all that stuff up there that you don't know how to process. Well, this week I got really introduced into a new level of understanding of the depth of the suffering of some of our veterans and their families. This week at the Chronic Healing Clinic at Salute the Service, I had the pleasure of working on a young, beautiful lady who lost her son after he suffered 18 years trying to rehab in the VA healthcare system. They did a lot for him, but he suffered. He suffered physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And, and she was by his side the whole time, his mother. Now, another thing about mothers and veterans is that mothers are not seen as perhaps the ones who suffer most when someone goes in the military. When their child goes into harm's way, their heart aches right away. Before the plane left the airport to take them away, the, the, the heart is already traumatized. And it just continues day in and day out, year in and year out, and on and on and on. And then when someone comes back in need of medical care, like this lady's son, the heartbreak continues. So I'd like you, whenever you think about veterans in the future, just to say a little prayer and include the, ret the mothers of the veterans, the spouses of the veterans, the children and the families of the veterans, because all these people suffer when a veteran suffers. I'm delighted today to see here four of the, I, I, I saw at least four, may, maybe there's more here, of the pranic healers from the pranic healing clinic, Kathy and Alice and, and Annette and Cheryl. And Cheryl is doing wonderful work there, landscaping wise, so that the veterans and, and the, the volunteers that come to help out there get to see the beauty of her landscaping as they approach the building. It's a, been a lot of work, and Charles does such a job lugging these stones and plants, and it's just a lot she does, but it's beautiful. 
and I appreciate what she does. And I know that we do, and Salute the Service does, and it just helps take the edge off the stress of the volunteer dynamic in, in service to her veterans. And so, anyhow, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, how I, uh, I came to be here. In 2021, uh, 2021, I moved to the veteran, uh, Benzion Veterans Residences, and I met up with Rodney, who runs the place. He was one of the speakers at the dedication, and he asked if I could help. So I went out to help, and I've been there ever since helping. Uh, I'm kind of like the angel man and prana dude for the place. If people want to talk to angels, they, they talk to me. If they want to talk about prana, they talk to me. But that's not true anymore because I, there's a whole team of prana people. I salute the services now. The Thursday crew at the Prana Healing Clinic at Salute the Service is absolutely phenomenal. This is only made possible because Salute the Service, uh, in, in, in my capacity at Salute the Service, I joined hands with Allison's capacity at uh, Prana Healing Bucks County, and we together co-facilitate this clinic for the veterans that, uh, that come to us. We also uh, see non-veterans there, and we do ask that they send us a, a, a send, uh, they provide a donation to Salute the Service. The work of Salute the Service is phenomenal. If you have uh, veterans that you know that aren't connected to the system, that, that need to reconnect, Salute the Service is a big help for that. It provides food uh, every Wednesday, free for veterans. Provides clothing. They provide uh, consultation on where to access services. And it just goes on and on and on. Um, I'm so pleased that I went there. I'm so pleased that we're able to continue on and to get this work going in such a positive direction. The first book that I mentioned was uh, dedicated to the, uh, to the veterans. And that was fine. I was very happy with that book. But then I got an email from Australia and this lady wrote me, she said, now, she had seen me on a YouTube somewhere, and uh, she said, I am not a veteran. I am not an American, but I need my back heart chakra cleaned. And the light went on for me that this is not just for veterans. We are all now traumatized by this quarantine where we've been isolated from the social um, network that would feed us in normal circumstances. We've been cut off from these connections, not able to see people, not able to absorb their energy in person. Ah. And yes, we can get our back heart chakra clean too. Now in both books, I, I, I talk about the professional options for getting your back heart chakra clean, but I also talk about the books that are put out by Master uh, uh, Kaisui's uh, organization and also by Master Ko in California and how you can learn how to do this and start your journey even before. You, 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 you get to a class, but I urge you to get to a class. I urge you to get to a meetup. We are privileged to have and blessed in that have in this area, what I consider one of the, one, if not the only premier meetup outfit in the whole country. Chronic Healing Bucks County is just awesome. It's run by Allison Sahu and it, she just does such a job of keeping everybody in the loop and aware of what's out there for their further advancement of scale in pranic healing skills, but also individuals who are just brand new to, to pranic healing and just want information about how do I figure out what this is even all about. And, and these meetups she has, they started on Sundays at four o'clock and they continue, but now she has meetups <laughs> 
almost every day of the week for something somewhere. And they're not all published uh, to the uh, to everybody because some of them are for chronic healers. Uh, but the amount of stuff she does, she even consults in in in, uh, in Japan uh, with a group at the uh, at the air base in um, I forget which one, but anyhow, uh, the air base there has a, a meetup, and it's orchestrated and supported by Allison here in Bucks County, and and Allison has people coming to Bucks County online from all over the place. So many people I've met from India and Papua New Guinea and Cyprus and on and on and on. And it's just a world tour right in Bucks County where you can hook up with people that need the services of chronic healing. And the big thing that's an option anywhere, anytime is the meditation. The meditation on twin hearts is just powerful. I'd like to see that after today, after I introduce you to what's possible, that that, that you have an experience uh, that's beneficial to you, and that you seek out more information and on and check out online meetups and uh, meditation on twin hearts that are available to help you. Sometimes the meditation alone is enough to shift people from the state they're in to the state that can nurture them better. We are complicated human beings, but subtle little things can make a big difference in our lives. When the love is there that we need, when the understanding is there that we have to work towards sometimes, and, and when the receptivity is there, and sometimes we have to work towards that too, because we need to be receptive for this stuff to work. You know, and it's that simple. Each of us is got control over ourselves. And a line that I've been using lately comes out of the work of Dr. Susan Shumsky. And I just tell people that are in a quandary, this has nothing to do with chronic healing, but is claim your authority. And I invite people to do that by just saying the phrase, I am the only authority in my life. And that starts you on the journey to be in your own power when you don't have it. And once you have a little bit of power, you can be claiming pranic healing on your schedule every week. You can be claiming pranic, uh, pranic healing as a, a goal for whatever level you want to take it to. But the people of pranic healing are where you really are, are blessed to go. If you just associate, come to the meetups online, and associate with the folks there. They will touch your heart. You will feel that they care, that they love, that more so than any place that you've been lately, there is not a hidden agenda. There is not a secret uh, bear trap that's going to snarl your foot. They're there because they want to be there because they want to express their love to the world and help people. And that is admirable, and it's powerful, and it really can change lives. So there's a lot of us now working for veterans, but we can also work for you. And right there at Circle of Miracles, every month, Kathy has chronic healing at Circle of Miracles. On, the, I think it's the third Thursday, please check the schedule, but show up. And if you ask her, you might be able to get your back heart clears completely right there, you know? And, and if not, you may have to come back another time or two. But it's a wonderful thing to do for yourself, to take yourself from the chaos of the world that we're in right now and associate and focus on the good that is available. And the good's right in your backyard. It's a circle of miracles. So come to Circle of Miracles, come to Pranic Healing, come to things that can help you to move forward in helping the world to better understand each other and connect at, at a deeper and a more loving level. I love this stuff. And whether it's Pranic Healing 
online or whether it's probably coming in person, will be coming up. Uh, and there's another expo coming up shortly at the at the mall and uh, now there's a lot going on with pranic hearing there's a lot going on for veterans and and i just want to say that you can be uh, participate in in this stuff you can pr participate if you want to just drop into pranic healing if you, best if you make an appointment at pranic healing at salute the service.com yes, look up the, the website for salute the service and then look at for the uh, for the pranic healing buttons there, and then you can come out and and get a healing at salute the service and help uh, help uh, further salute the service and help further pranic healing. The work is good when you do good, you feel good, and you feel good because you're doing good because you're you choose to be in the blessing of good as you are part of the good that is being done. So I encourage you to think about it. I think you would encourage you to check it out, especially since you're affiliated with Circle of Miracles already, especially come out on Thursdays and check it out. And especially if you feel lousy or you're having an emotional crisis, come out to it on, on Thursdays. And, and if you can't get there on the Thursdays at Circle, check out Pranic Healing Bus County and see where else there's meditations, where else there's programs that may suit you. It's all there on Pranic Healing Bus County Meetup. And I am doing about as well. Oh, after the talk today, I'm going to invite you to, instead of doing a meditation, I'm going to uh, invite you to do an experience with me. And we're going to do some energy, back heart chakra energy, direct it to you. Now it's going to vary for everybody that's here uh, how how much how good that is and how intense that is because you may be ready, you may not be ready, you may be ready but not know that you're ready. And it, it's uh, I just want to give you a little bit of an experience and open the door. And I believe that, that when I open the door for you, you'll be able to see inside enough so that you know if there's any value for you here and how much value there is. Or better say, there's value there, but you may not be ready for it. You are, you reign over your life and you get to choose everything. So if you don't choose to go forward and change in a way that, that you, that you know, then things are going to be the same until you, you do decide what you want to do and when you're going to do it and all that kind of stuff. A big power source in this thing is receptivity. If you're not ready for it, if you're not willing to receive the blessings that come with chronic healing and back heart tracker cleaning, it's not going to happen. But why does, you may ask, why does the back heart chakra need to be cleaned? Well, the reason for that is because of the fact that it's like uh, in your system, there's the whole, all these chakra systems you heard about. People focus on the front heart chakra because that's what they see. And they think that is the key. And that, the front heart chakra is important. But the back heart chakra is more important because the back heart chakra is where all the residue of relationships that did not end well kind of chunk up and block the flow of fresh energy coming into your system that's intended to nurture your back heart, your front heart, and front heart chakra, your back heart chakra, your front heart chakra, and your physical heart. When your back heart chakra is congested, it's restricted. You know, it's just like when you want the water to drain in your sink, you got to make sure that there's room for the water to get out. You need to jostle the what's in there and let it out. Back heart chakra cleaning pulls that junk out of your heart and allows mother nature and homeostasis to nurture you more fully. And it brings good feng shui to your whole system. And that's a blessing to you. 
it's a blessing to your health and it's a blessing to your peace of mind and it's a blessing to your understanding and relating to others thank you god so i'm ready for any questions anybody might have <laughs>